There's a ton of energy and excitement uh, to start the year for lots of reasons, uh, and one of those factors is the you know, that we passed our bonds in the spring. Polson voters backed their school district in a big way last spring, approving two bonds, providing $40 million in funding to drastically improve outdated school buildings. We feel the support of our community, and that that's a huge thing, to know that, that we have people here that, that believe in what we're doing and want to help us create a better environment for our students. It goes a long ways to know that we have that community support. Polson High School Principal Andy Forrest says funding will go toward renovating and adding on to existing school buildings while bringing school safety up to code. Which is going to allow us to move all of our students under one roof. We currently have six mods at the high school and three more classrooms in an out, an out building. Um, so to be able to get everyone under the same roof is a huge improvement for us to be able to upgrade some facilities and and really focus on safety for kids and for staff members. English teacher Katrina Venters has taught at Polson High School since 2010. She says teachers and staff are building off positive momentum from last spring as they begin the new school year. So it's great to know that we live in a community and that I'm raising my kids in a community that really cares about our schools and our education and really our community's future. Four says the high school has dealt with teacher shortages in recent years. He hopes the school upgrades will help ease that problem down the road. Knowing that our community supports education and that we are going to have some updated facilities and be able to take care of our kids, um, hopefully that will help us with teacher recruitment, staff recruitment, and be able to retain those people once we get them here. If all goes as planned, renovations could begin as early as October. Our conversations with our contractor and, and with our architect, we're looking at a three year process to complete all of the projects, um, but we will hopefully break ground and, and be under construction here in the next couple of months. In Polson, Sean Wells, MTN News.